Since October last year, three women have died shortly after giving birth as a result of the virus. Hepatitis E affects the liver and is caused by ingesting fecal contaminated water due to poor sanitation. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention under the United States Embassy in Namibia brought together healthcare professionals to answer questions such as why pregnant women are more vulnerable to the outbreak. It's the woman is pregnant, so in, with the fact has a fetus that she needs to take care of, so it's a lot of load for the body because it's not only protecting the mother, but it's also protecting the baby. So in actual fact, that already says that the mother's immune system is down, so that just makes that as, as with a normal individual can fight the, the infection much faster and much better than a pregnant woman. So the pregnant woman would need more supportive care because it's two people that are fighting with one immune system. The latest statistics indicate that well over 800 hepatitis E-related cases have been recorded in Karatura's informal settlements, such as Havana and Koreaha. One of the most effective ways to address hepatitis E is hand washing. And by that we mean hand washing with clean running water and soap. And there are four key times that we emphasize for hand washing. Those are after defecation, after changing a baby's nappy, before eating, and before preparing food. So those four key times. And then one of the things that we've found and seen um, in these areas, because people are having to walk, in some cases up to three kilometers, to a water point, there's very conservative water use. It makes sense, Namibia is a desert. So people are very conservative in their water use and the cultural practices in many cases are that all people wash your hands together in the same basin. And while that is effective for conserving water, it's also a possible way to spread disease. The event was held under the theme Current Health Issues Infectious Disease Outbreaks.